backstage with Hector Lombard, who just got his 19th career knockout. How does it feel? You just, I mean, 19, that's a lot. I, I think I had a lot more, a lot more than 19, but they put a submission when it was supposed to be a KO, but, oh. you know, but I, I have like maybe 26, 27 KOs, but they always put a submission when it was supposed to should, should be a, a KO. We're going to have to get the record adjusted yeah, they then. To, they have to get the record right because, um, if you check the videos, they they a lot of the lot of KOs they, they put the submission, thinking that submission is the, you know, for example, like when I fought James Tehuna, that was a KO, they put a submission. When I fought uh, Brian Episode, it was a KO, they put a submission and stuff like that. Hmm. So. Okay. Well, anyway, big KO tonight. How did it feel to get that over Nate Marquardt? I mean, it feels great. I mean, uh, he's a he's a great opponent. Um, he's a former Strike Force champion. He fought everywhere. He fought for the for the USC belt against Anderson Silva. I mean, um, he has over over 40 fights, so you know, couldn't be better than. Could, I couldn't ask for it, uh, for better opponent. I mean, I didn't ask for it. He was the one who wanted to fight me. Mm -hmm. So, was that extra motivation because he did ask to fight you? Like he thought he could possibly <clears throat> get a win over you? Yeah, I mean, I had I have a lot of motivation to this fight. Um, um, a lot of people doubt me and stuff like that, which is like encouraged me to um, go to the next level. Backstage with Tim Bosch, who came out victorious against C.B. Dalloway tonight here in Houston. Eye pokes obviously played a big factor in the fight. Uh, how did they affect you when you're in there? I mean, did you feel them or is it something you, you feel afterwards? Uh, unfortunately, eye pokes are one of those things that it's very difficult to ignore. Uh, and it just seems like I've been plagued with them this year especially. Uh, so I just had to gut check, make sure I could see enough to finish the fight. Uh, I knew with damage being done to the right eye and CB throws a lot of hooks that it could be an issue, but just sucked it up, got back in there, went after it and uh, got the victory. So that's all that matters. After the second one, you seemed to go in there with even more of a fury. You, it was like you wanted to take his head off because it because it was another eye poke. Yeah, well, once you can blame an accident, twice within 15 seconds is something else. So yeah, definitely a little angry about that. And I'd really, yeah, it's just frustrating but that's fighting. Well, you got the big W tonight, but were you surprised with the discrepancy in scoring tonight? Uh, well, I knew when they took the point from him, it was gonna mix things up quite a bit, but I knew the fight was close. He, he got some good takedowns. Uh, I landed some big right hands, so I knew the numbers were gonna be close, but at the end of the day, I do feel that I won, and I was glad that I pushed through it, pushed through the eye pokes. Uh, definitely a gut check type of fight, you know, and I'm glad I got through it and I'm glad I got the win. KJ, how important was it for you to get uh, your first win under the UFC banner? It's been tough, man. I've had kind of a losing streak, so, you know, it's more or less, you know, trying to get your confidence back. So I'm, I'm just super happy. It wasn't uh, the best performance I could do for myself, but I, I got the win. I think I got over the uh, UFC jitters, I guess. What do you feel like you could improve on for next time? You know, it's just been tough, you know, uh, training, I'm working, I got a baby, so it's like I'm doing two jobs. So luckily my job gave me a little bit of time off, but it's just uh, I got to get in there and stay dedicated. It's tough. Where was George tougher than you expected? You know he's a veteran, he's been around for a long time. Obviously he's been in some great battles, but did he surprise you at all in there? No, I know he's a great guy on the ground, so I just had to not go to the ground. He's really good, probably one of the best guys I've fought on the ground. So um, you know, we prepared for it and uh, it was good.